Hey guys, welcome back to The Game Replay, I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy X HD Remaster for the Sony PlayStation 3. Good stuff. Well, this is where we uh, left off, kinda. We were about to go to the Calm Lands. Uh, yeah, the Makalania segment, that's where everything just gets all screwy. You know, travel-wise, story-wise. But here we are, back at the Calm Lands. Uh, you will let me ride a chocobo, right? Hi there. Want to ride a chocobo? Of course! Uh, you know, I wasn't thinking about it till now, but... What about Ramium Temple? I'm... Thinking there's no reason for us to go there. Remember, there's a faith here. But no, now this temple is abandoned. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> we can play that stupid game again, I think. No, I pass. And we already did revisit the faith after we received our aeons. I believe. So if we were to go back in right now, I don't think anything would happen. But why don't we just waste two minutes of our time and do so. Attempt it. I think this would have been a good place for uh, a Dark Aeon battle. You know, out of the way. Very much out of the way. But uh, no, there's nothing here. Yeah, we already got our words of encouragement from the, uh, the Magus sisters. So that's fine. Ah, but wait, isn't there another? Optional? Faith? Close by? Another chamber? Yeah? Could be. Yeah, Yojimbo's Faith, the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. That could be worth a check out, don't you think, folks? I'm sure nothing bad will happen if we go over there. Remember, there are still dark aeons out there. Some in places you would never suspect. Some in pretty typical areas. Ah, man. People in Makalani need to get over it. God, we just went through Guado Salam itself. You know? Not a single fight. We didn't have a single encounter over there. Makalania, get over yourselves. I hate Makalania. I don't know. Alright, so back at the calm lands. Uh, nah, there's really... There's no scenes here, nothing to do. I'll be through here in a couple of minutes, probably. Yeah, the weapon seller, he's over there. He wants us to collect uh, more monsters for his arena. That's all. That's all there is to it. Oh no. It's this family again. The High Priests of St. Pavel do nothing but squabble over politics these days. They've forgotten their duty to us, their people. My husband and I decided to leave Pavel for our son's sake. Pavel is not a safe place for children anymore. We left our house in Pavel. I don't really understand what's going on, but Mom said it was dangerous. Welcome. What can I do for you? I'm just browsing here, see what you got. Plus 10%, all right. Cool. I think there's an Albed hanging out over here. Rumor of the airship is spreading. The Yevon clergy is afraid of it, seems like. Hmm. Well, we could do more chocobo activities. Little racing, little this, little that. Uh, hey, I can talk about this. If, <laughs> if you defeat every Dark Aeon of the game, uh, you come back here, actually, and you can challenge an even more crazy boss. I think the craziest boss out of all of them, the, the biggest super boss of them all, and that is Penance, right? But you have to defeat every 
uh, Dark Aeon in the game before you can even, you can even attempt that. This gorge is called the Scar. They say that when the High Summoner conquered Sin, Sin tore the earth here asunder with the last of its strength. Yeah, that's all. Maybe, maybe we fight him right here. This could be it. Hmm. Maybe that's what's up with this area and that person. Maybe that triggers it. I wouldn't know. That's probably another one of those things I'll never do. You know, it's really not that hard to do. It's not that hard. It just takes hours of time, folks. I mean, what do you have to do to be strong? Uh, level up. Get, you know, abilities. Get weapons. Max out your attributes. Actually, I don't want to go in here. Max out your attributes. Max out your abilities. Max out your strength, your MP, this and that. All it does take is time. You can do it. It's not that, it's not that hard, man. You become insanely strong. But even when you've learned, literally learned everything on the sphere grid, gotten everything weapon-wise, you know, the best of the best, the strongest you could possibly be, ever. You know, those battles actually might still be challenging. That's the point, though. To do those battles, you have to. You have to max it out. I believe. All it takes is time. Psycho time. So we're gonna go down here, folks, and yeah, we're gonna revisit the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. And I think there's also a couple of Crusaders here. After this, yeah, I'm gonna go over to Mount Gagazet. Of course. Could be some people there. Ronso. Maybe a couple, right? This land where Lady Yokin trained is sacred to the Crusaders. Lady Yokin was a member of the Crusaders before becoming a summoner. It may be Lady Yokin's divine guidance that has brought our comrades together here. Don't get me wrong, I used to be a warrior monk, but now I'm a crusader. Protecting such a corrupt temple simply became ludicrous, so I packed up and left. The warrior monks are a pack of cowards hiding within the walls of St. Pavel. Our comrades have gathered from all over to this place where Lady Yokin once trained. Our numbers are still few, but we can't expect too much too fast. With patience, we can rebuild the Crusaders. Once we complete our training here, we plan to resume fiend hunting. I took part in Operation Meehan. I once left the Crusaders because of that terrible loss. But I couldn't stand just loafing around during a time of crisis. My family is against it, but I've decided to fight as Crusader. There have been recent sightings of a flying ship. Could it be a new Albed weapon? With their help, we could commence a second Operation Meehan. The Crusaders are still weak in their present form. We need the aid of the Albed. Ha! <laughs> Man, that guy's really, uh, he's all about Albed stuff. Albed technology. Machina! Hey, you! Machina! Alright, folks, and, uh, the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. Good stuff. And with this, I think I will have revisited every faith room, yeah? A second time? Except for one. Yeah, except for one. In Makalania. I think this is the last one, yeah. We visited uh, the faith room in uh, Bavel the second time when we, you know, we had our automatic cutscene there. Eh, so yeah, that counts. Let's go inside! You are... 
a fading dream, but one touched by reality. Spiro will not forget its reality, nor the one who saved it. Run, dream, run on. Pass beyond the waking, and walk into the daylight. Alright, cool, we got a strength sphere. Uh, nothing else to do there, and you can't go back in. It's the options taken away from us, that's all. Alright, folks, good stuff. So, yeah, it was nice that we could come and revisit the uh, the faith here in the, the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. Oh, dear God. <laughs> yeah, folks. Uh, Dark Aeon. Dark Aeon alert. Dark Aeon alert. This is the Dark Aeon Yojimbo. Uh, apparently, the word is you have to fight this guy numerous times in a row with, like, no breaks. Uh, no saving or no uh, running away. And uh, this is probably, like, what? Like, top three hardest battles, I think? Could be. Um... It's nice that you can see it, you know, like on the Thunder Plains, you can check it out, but you can kind of pass, you know, like uh, on the Mushroom Rock Road with the Magus Sisters. And it's also nice that we can do what we came here to do with the, you know, the Cavern of the Stolen Faith and revisit the faith and everything, and that's great, you know? I'm glad it's kind of like an optional thing, like, hey, here I am, you can choose to do battle. Kind of like in uh, Beaconel Island, even though, um... It never happened. I never selected yes. I was too afraid. Because I think if you select yes, it's just, it's game over. You can't run away. Yeah, they're all different. Each and every one of them. It's slightly different, right? Some, you know, you have to do battle. If you want to come in here, if you want access to this part of Spira, you gotta do battle, bruh. <laughs> just like in the beginning, when I wanted to go back to Besaid and I started all of this retracking, you know? So that's pretty much it, folks. Um, you know, Mount Gagazette lies ahead of us, and there could still be some people there. But after that, yeah, the road ends here. But just for fun, I might just kind of trek through real quick. And that could be all, folks. That could be all. We're done. I'm done. Um, one or two, a couple of minor things I might want to do before we, before we really engage Sin. You know, nothing backtracking wise. I'm done with all of the. I'm done with the meat of it. You know, I'm done with. I'm done with the chunkage. You know. But before we go to sin, you know, it's game over. So if you're gonna do something, do it now. Couple Ronso here, indeed. Yeah, most of them are like female Ronso. You can see Ronso Youth. Really, just one. And we can see someone else. Look at that, man. You thought you wouldn't see this guy again, Machen? It's great that he's here, still. Shall I tell you about the spear of days long past, eh? I'd love to hear, man. There is a legend in you now. Just before the horrible sin appeared, a terrible war raged between Bavel and Zanakan. The armies of Bavel attacked Mount Gagazet. They heard a song echoing across the snowy slopes. It is a song from an other world, they said. The soldiers panicked and ran. And then, as if to pursue the retreating armies, sin appeared. Some time later, scouts from Bavel braved the mountain. On the other side, they witnessed the ruins that had been Zanakan. The city destroyed, not a single soul left standing, gone. In its place, 
multitude of the faith had gathered on Gagazet. They were singing a song. It's the song we now call the Hymn of the Faith. And that, as they say, is that. Well, maybe not all of it. And now we know some history about the Hymn of the Faith. Would you like to hear the rest? Let's continue. Rumors flew in Bevel about Sin's sudden appearance. They said that the people of Zanakan became the faith that they had called Sin, and that the man responsible was none other than the summoner Yevin, ruler of Zanakan. Yes, the Lord Father of Lady Unaleska. On the eve of Zanakan's destruction, Lady Unaleska had fled to safety with her husband, Zeon. Later, the two used the final summoning to defeat Sin. Yet the people of Bevel still feared Yu Yevon. It was to quell his wrath that they revered him and first spread his teachings. And so were born the temples of Yevon. I suppose it's possible Unaleska had planned it that way from the start. A fair trade. She defeats Sin in exchange for her Lord Father's honor. Of course, there's no proof. No, the facts are lost in the mists of time. And who'd admit Yevon was an enemy of Bavel? You can bet the temples had a hand in covering that one up. And that, as they say, is that. This guy's knowledge of Spira's history is infinite! How do you know everything, man? I'd like to hear more, would you? Continue. Let me tell you about the Hymn of the Faith. It was one Susanna Khan song, sung in defiance of Bevel. Of course, the Evan clergy of Bevel forbade it. Then, as these things often go, those who disliked Heaven began to sing it. The Al Bed, for instance. The Hymn of the Faith became the symbol of defiance against Yevon. Yevon could do nothing but capitulate. They lifted the ban on the song and spread a new story. They said the hymn was a song sung to soothe the souls of the dead. And so saying, they took the song and made it scripture. That's why today, the hymn is sung all over Spira. You could say that though Zanakan is gone from this world, it lives on in the song. Ah, but look at the time. I've rambled on again. I do love stories, you see. Well, I owe you my gratitude for hearing this old scholar out. Little interesting uh, tidbit there. You learn about the hymn of the faith, and uh, yeah, now it makes sense as to why the Albed, you know, Sid and the Albed were singing it when we were on the airship and uh, they were going to blow up home. Like to hear about this place once more? So, if you want, you could ask him about something specific, but no, nah, it's okay. Machen, thanks for all of your history lessons. Mm. Suit yourself. Good stuff. All right, so okay, there are some Ronso here. My mate died in battle. It was a proud death, fit for Ronso. He marched to Farplane with horn held high. Cold are the winds of Gagazet. Tears turn into ice. Ronso must lay tears aside to stand up against sorrow. All Ronso are warriors. Ronso will stay with Mountain. Even young Ronso have mighty horns greater than any fiend. In snow and ice, this Ronso grow as big as mountain. We Ronso also wait for calm of Summoner Yuna. Many Ronso have fallen to hands of the unsent Seymour. It is fate of Ronso to die in battle, but so few are left. Ronso will guard the mountain to the very last. 
<laughs> and this guy. Got a big boy here. Big Ronso. Ronso always prepared to fight. Always keep weapons and armor in top shape. Ah, he's selling stuff. Oh man, look at this. So we have silent zombie touch. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Okay. If you're into that sort of thing, oh! They did have it here. Wow. I thought I went to Mount Gagazette. I must have not. I definitely would have seen it. Yeah, Berserk Ward, Confuse Ward. This stuff is definitely um, a good idea to equip on yourselves before going into the uh, Omega Ruins. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Yeah, that's some good stuff. So here and, uh, what was it? Was it Luca? That's awesome, there you go. So, I could travel the roads. Um, I don't think there's anyone out there on the roads, folks. No, I don't think there's anybody. So maybe just for fun, we can do, uh, some quick zapping. What do you guys think? So this will take us to the mountain trail. I think pretty deep, too. Doesn't this take us to the end? Right here. Uh... Guess I'll walk the rest. So, folks, this is pretty much it. I'm going the right way, right? I still get confused here. Oh, this place. I'll know in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Or less, really. So, folks, um, I think we're done encountering all of the minor characters. Yeah, um, a couple of minor characters we did not come in contact with, actually, folks. Uh, let's see. Captain Lucille, Elma. Oh, no, I think I'm going the wrong way here. Those are a couple of characters, though, uh, that we did not... You know, that we did not come in contact with. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Of course, of course I am. And, uh, yeah, if you're wondering if you can, uh, see Elma and Lucille. Uh, what's another one? Uh, oh, Isaru. The last time we saw Isaru was, uh, you know, it was on the airship. And then it was when we battled him in the Via Perifico. So if you're wondering if, uh... We can see those people again. Well, as far as our backtracking goes, no. No, that's it. But if I recall correctly, I do believe we see them all at the end of the game uh, during the cutscenes and stuff. At least a couple of them, I know that. That's kind of too bad. Especially with Lucille and Elma. I think we should see them. When was the last time we saw those characters? Wasn't it at the Moonflow, when they couldn't cross? Oh, but then at Makalania in the forest as well, there was that. When, uh... You know, uh, they wouldn't let us pass. Oh man, I was right there at the end. I hate, I hate this road. I hate these, uh... These Gagazet paths. No wonder so many perish here. Uh, but I'm just talking. Talking about a couple things, this and that. I think they should have stuck all those characters, though, at the end of the game. Hey, man, everyone we've seen, I think we should see again. One last time. And that's pretty much the case for everybody. And yeah, even though we do see Shalinda at the end of the game, during a cutscene at uh, Bavel Temple, that's more of a cutscene kind of thing. You know? That's it. She's not going to be standing around. We do see Maroda and Passe, though, when we return. You know, an optional, additional time. But yeah, no one, no one out here. I've mentioned this in a previous part. Yeah, we would have run into Donna and Bartello had we said, ah, complete your pilgrimage. Stop it. Stop your crying. Stop your whining. Uh, we would have saw, we would have encountered them at the Xanarkin Dome. Yeah, other than that, it would have been... Oh, wait. Yeah, other than that, it's just... It's Machin. That's pretty much it. Which way, uh... 
Is it this way? I can't remember the path. That goes to water. Hey, here's a fun little fact, folks. Um, one of the Dark Aeon battles can be fought here. I think it involves, uh, it involves us redoing one of those little mini trials. Yeah, so if we do that or something, uh, one of the Dark Aeon battles will take place. Okay, here we go, climbing up the rocks. Which one? Uh, wasn't it Bahamut? Dark Aeon Bahamut? Could be, yeah, could be that one. Still, it's disappointing that we can't really check out anything in Bavel. Bavel's always been such an oddball place, an oddball area, an oddball location. It would be cool if I forgot about something and we come across somebody, but I don't think that's the case, folks. Unfortunately. But hey, man, if I'm gonna retrace all my steps, I might as well do it fully. <laughs> as fully as I can, without, you know, having to deal with crazy stuff. Was it dark here the last time? I don't think so. Hey, so we've learned that. It was sunset, wasn't it? Or was it sunrise? Either case, it was different. But yeah, now it's kind of like an eternal night going on here. Yeah, Xanarkin. It's always nighttime over here. So this will lead us to the, the campground and then the path to the Xanarkin Dome. I think it would be kind of fitting if we encountered Isaru here. Yeah, very fitting, very appropriate. But no. Ah, yeah, that that thing's there. Why don't I? Why don't I take it actually? Better be the yeah. That's the right direction. So yeah, this will take you to the dome. I guess I'll run through here. Yeah, it'd be awesome if there were more scenes. Remember the fireflies, the memories, optional ones. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool, man. But no, we're done. This game is kind of done. Nothing new. Nothing more to be uh, had. No more action. Just uh, leveling up, grinding. If you wanna, if you wanna take on those challenges with those crazy aeons, hey, go for it. I just think it would be cooler if I just thought it'd be cool if there was more incentive to to do that. I'm talking about cutscenes, man, and not and I'm not saying anything quick. Something kind of semi-meaningful. People might say. Uh, what would be meaningful about it is the challenge. The challenge of doing the hardest battles of the game. And yeah, I guess that's something, but hey, maybe it's not, maybe it's not just important enough for me. Oop! Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, you floor Tetris, man. Yeah, still here. So, I guess I'm gonna go down below. Although there's no one here and there's nothing to do. And luckily I picked up all our items because folks, like I mentioned before, down here is a very scary, very scary uh, Dark Aeon battle. Actually, Dark Bahamut is in here, yeah? So who was in the, uh, the Mount Gagazet caves? I don't recall that. Hmm. Yeah, this is it. Advance no further, folks. I guess that scene with Asaru and Bartello would have happened right here. Big enough room for it. I don't think uh, it would have been in here. It's kind of stuffy. Then again, who knows? Who knows, man? So, folks, that's it. That's everything. Ah, I did it. Retraced all my steps. The final showdown was she. I say, let's get this show on the road! And there's nothing else to do, unless you want to do those battles, unless you want to challenge yourself. 
There's nothing else to do but, uh, you know, take on Sin. The final showdown, man. Yeah, here we go. See, I'm just gonna go back to Besaid Island because I like it. It's a nice place. I defeated Dark Valfer. I can access Besaid whenever I want. And this is where we're just gonna end it. Awesome. I really hate how uh, it puts us out of Besaid. I think they should have teleported us, not to the beach area, but to that stone statue where you pray, because that's where there's a save sphere. Uh, that almost kind of aggravates me in a silly way. A silly nonsense way. I wanted to just end my part in the Besaid village and be all happy, and then leave it at that. So folks, well, you know, I can discuss a couple of things. I'll discuss about what I'm kind of interested in before taking on Sin, and we're really right there, folks. I wanted to do one more... I wanted to do one more video with some Blitzball, because, you know, after that, it's done. No more Blitzball, man. So I kind of wanted to have a couple of more games, one more video dedicated to Blitzball, because... Yeah, man. And hopefully those games can be good. You know, good games, good hard-fought games. Hopefully, I, uh, go up against the Guado or the Albed, because they are the toughest, especially at first, and I did reset all my data. Another thing I might want to do, and I might start out the next video. I'm not promising anything yet. I'm just kind of throwing some things out there. I might start the video, not with the Blitzball, but since it won't take that long, uh, I might start at the Makalania Temple. And, uh, I might try and take on Shiva. The only way I'm gonna do it, uh, at my current state is to use Yojimbo and take her out with the move. It's my only chance. So I might try that. We have revisited every faith. And, uh, at first I didn't know if we could access faiths like, uh, you know, uh, Yojimbo's. The Cavern of the Stolen Faith, because I was aware of the Dark Aeon there, but it was nice we could get through. At first, I didn't know about uh, the Mushroom Rock Road, but yeah, I discovered, well, we can get around this. You can pretty much get around it all. There's not a couple, like right here, or at Makalania, so I might try and do that, starting out in the next video. The battle will be like 30 seconds if I'm successful. And then we can get in there. Oh, we'll have another faith. We'll have another Cloister of Trials to do, right? Huh, so good stuff. And, uh, you know, we can just revisit the last faith. So we can say we did it all. Good stuff, folks. Anyway, Besaid's a nice place to end it. And this could be the end of our uh, retracing travels. So uh, good stuff, folks. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of me those comments and tell me what you think. I'm Dave the Usher for The Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. I will see you guys next time. I am out.